Hello guys, how are we doing? Now today I've got to pick up some parts. I've wanted this for my car literally since I bought it. So we're going to take a drive up to Colchester. Quite a way, but it's worth it. You'll see that when we get there. So we're taking the one and only daily. Um, I'm hoping it fits in there, should do. Um, but I'm going to run quickly now because I am running a little bit late. I need to get there for two o'clock, so see you in a bit. in traffic getting uh, harassed for being late but what I'm in the queue with is alright so it's not too bad little cheeky M2 alright spoiler alert came to collect my M4 36 grand I'm joking <laughs> so I made it down although I got the grief of being late <laughs> I was late yeah I was late it was okay <laughs> so I made it down the coil was in the car I'm probably gonna show you those when I get home but I just want to say thanks to Adam for supplying with the coilovers. Thank you for choosing us to go through, dude. That's okay. So we made it down here, obviously 61. You've probably seen this from other people's videos, but you know, I just wanted to show that I came down here to collect the parts. It's a better way of doing it rather than just getting delivery. You get to meet Adam as well. So oh, that's a positive. Like that's a positive. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, we're gonna be heading off soon, so we might be seeing some more bits today. I'll show you the coilovers when I get home. HSD Motor Pros, boy. So I'll catch it a bit. One hour later. So we've made it down to Adam's garage unit, I suppose, whatever we're going to call it. That's the garage. Car showroom. Car showroom. We're down here. I'm going to show you a few of the cars and what's around and stuff like that for people that may not have seen Adam's channel and stuff like that. And I will leave it below. But we're going to have a quick look around see what he's got. We've got a new car right in front of me that I need to show you. So we'll have a look. Obviously, the first thing I have to show you, just principle, is another MX-5. It's just got to be done. So Adam's Mark II. Uh, a cheap buyer apparently out here as well. Got hard top, LSD, stuff like that. 1.8. 1 1.8 as well. So a lot better than 90 brake horsepower on mine. Got some rust. Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't have rust? Yeah, a little bit of fucking... Uh, it's a bit holy. Yeah, Should be alright. 300 quid, can't mine, can you? No, you can't. The next the MX-5, we have a Honda Legend. That's a parts car. Parts car, okay. Explaining the... The front end missing indicators and bits like that, bits and bobs. Basically, bombs. what happened, if I don't know if you even knew this, up my other one, I bought it and I bumped an old lady at a roundabout. I wish it had been her, but it was her car. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I damaged the side light and nowhere in fucking anywhere had one. Really? So I found this spare car that had. I said to the guy, I was like, is the side light okay? Because that's all I need the car for. He was like, yeah, mate, perfect. So I drove down to Southampton, pitch black, picked it up, got it home. 400 quid for the whole car, it's yeah. not bad. Um, I can use it for anything else I need it for. And then uh, got home and the side light that I needed had a crack in it. <laughs> no way, unbelievable. Yeah. So I was like, oh well, it's better than the other one because the other one was a complete smash, but these are cool cars, man. The other one's just around the back. So yeah, so there's something I haven't really looked at that much, so, but they do look pretty cool. Big like wagon like style kind of car. Like cars, I yeah. love 90s cars. So like, they're just fun. They're just old and massive and gangster and cool. BMW E36 328 M Sport. It's uh, my beginner drift car. I'm taking it to Driftland next week. I don't know when you're posting your video, but I'm terrible. I, I might have been there by now, so you yeah, can you might. Adam might have been at Driftland by then, so he's going with Monkey London and Supercars, Supercars of London. So they got London boys, so and Driftland obviously themselves. So it yeah. should be fun. Um, I mean, it's a it's a cool car, like, but I don't want it anymore. So this this week will be my last week with it, I think. Um, yeah. I've actually got someone that's kind of agreed to buy it off me in principle, as long as I don't write it off for Driftland. Um, mm. And then, yeah, hopefully it will go and someone else will enjoy it and I, it can get out of my hair a little bit because I'm just over it, man. Like, yeah. I've loved the car, but I haven't used it in a year, so it's like, I've got it working now, so we might as well get rid of it. But I mean, it's a cool car. It's a 328, it's like the best E36 you want to get, really. It's a cool car, I definitely own another one, but if I owned another one, it'd have to be a drop top one. Ooh, you know, like, nice. I wouldn't want to drift it, I'd want it as like a little summer car sort of thing. Or, yeah. Um, and it'd have to be cleaner than this. This is not clean anymore, man. Like, but it's only my fault for not looking after it. <laughs> well, I mean, E36s, there's a lot of people that want them. So, you know, I can see, well, you only got to look on YouTube. There's a couple of people that want E36 at the moment. So, yeah. they're, good cars. Like, they're, they're good cars. They're good cars. Obviously, I haven't got my Sylvia here to show you, but that is the fucking Mac Daddy. Like, yeah. That car, when it works, is just, oh, 
mate, it's the bollocks. Like, yeah. I fucking love it. Like, I love it. So if we'll go look at it, show you the other legend real quick. Yep. So legend number two. Yeah. This Run is, through this. This is the good one. Um, I know it looks a bit shit at the minute, but it's been behind it for over a year. Um, basically, this was my daily when I had my Integra DC5. Um, absolutely fucking loved this car, man. Honestly, like, picked it up for a grand. I got a year's use out of it, so I was over the moon, but then I accidentally cracked the sump on it. Oh. Um, and then we fixed it with liquid metal, but I just don't trust it at all with how low we run the car. Yeah, I mean, um, it's, it's pretty slammed, as you can tell. Yeah, and when we've got the whistles on it, it looks gangster, man. Like, yeah. It looks so cool. I would definitely like to bring it back, but we need the sump from the other one. Right. So it's a big job. It's not like a, an hour yeah. job. It's like a six-hour job just to change the sump on one, let alone do two. Mm. So we need a full two-day weekend where me and a couple of friends can just blitz it out. And um, Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a cool as fuck car. We're using it as like a storage place. Yeah. Here, with like the Civic parts. Yeah, there's that, a, a dash in there that we'll look at for a car pretty soon. Yeah, I'll show you. This is, that's like the main like main car. And you can ask me the questions that you want answering with it. <laughs> it, it I might as well just get the answer out there so everyone can find it. So you come in here and this is my... I guess this is what I'm best known for on YouTube. I'd but, say um, so. My fa I'd say one of my favourite cars. I think my and Nissan is my favourite. It's most favourite car I have. Um, yeah. I just adore that thing. But this is like my baby like this has had the most money put into it it's had the most work put into it it's had full body restoration on the outside all the new inner arch is built all new seals built the interior didn't get done because of the amount of work that was needed doing on the outside and i just could not afford to have the whole no car of course um, a few more bits i need to do um well not that i need to do basically all i've got left to do is put the battery in <laughs> yeah <coughs> that's it and tidy up the wiring um it's going to a body shop as soon as they can get me in um just to finish up tidying the bits up Putting the roof in, putting my windows back in for me, hopefully. Putting all the door trims that they've got, all the door handles they've got. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got nice Volk wheels on here. They're the only set yeah. in the country outside of Japan in these fitment and size. Are they really? Yeah, oh. um, 15 by 7.5 ET35 in Formula Silver. So they're like rare as fuck. Actually, I think they're ET35. Yeah, ET35. I was right. ET35. We've got the CSF radiator. Um, Downstar everything, um, bolts wise. Tight, did the re did the edging, got towed a manifold. Uh, I just run the standard inlet manifold because they're good on the V16A2, yeah. so don't need to change that. I've got one inch mast cylinder, so it's got bigger brakes, and we've also got spoon calipers on the front. Yeah, spoon calipers on, on yeah. the Volks, good and setup. Then we've, got, then we've got the AO48R tires on there, they're like gripping so. People that wonder why I buy so many cars, them tyres cost more than the Saxo <laughs> and the MX-5 put together and paying for getting them back on the road. Them tyres cost that yeah. much money. So, like, I've got some real nice bits on it too, like um, innovative mounts, they're brand new. Got Obviously got my coilovers that we've stopped making now on there, um, 621 coilovers, so they, we don't make them anymore, so it's kind of cool to still have those on. Yep. Mugen steering wheel, spoon sports gear knob. Um, yeah, it's fucking rad, got a Cusco cage to go back in it. Got that flop dash, obviously, that you see. Um, Spoon back box, which is custom mounted to a, a silenced uh, B pipe with a towed manifold. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nicely kitted out little track car. But I mean, I will definitely use it on track, but it's at the mercy now of other people finishing their parts on it before no, we of can course. Um, do it. And I'm in no rush. I don't. I don't see this whole fascination for getting everything done right now. I live for the moment, innit? Like we just bought that fucking sacks you know it's the funniest Oi. yeah it's the funniest car ever like i just i just can't stop smiling i think it's so funny like maybe cheap cars is the way you need to go instead of expensive eg builds yeah well this is the last time i ever do anything like this <laughs> never never ever again it's been too stressful i will put the pressure and say the penultimate question which is when is the eg getting done i just fucking told you <laughs> when, it gets done. Yeah. when it gets done so the 40,000 people on this guy's channel, stop pestering him and telling him when's the EG getting done. It's getting done when it's getting done. Yeah, come and enjoy <laughs> the other builds that we're doing because we have a lot of fun with everything, innit? Yeah, it's not a one car trick like I am, you know, <laughs> this, this, this place is full of cars. And so one of those cars that I'm doing just for the attention now. Like, I've had this car for five years, like, yeah. it's, it, it's, <laughs> to me it's like, well, it gets done when it's done, innit? Like, yeah. We've got the MX-5, we're going to get that welded up within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Obviously I'm at Driftland next week, so we can't do it then. But a week after that, hopefully I'm gonna get that welded up. I've got the drive shaft on order for this. Um, oh, is that what it needs? I didn't even know. Track Rock, next rocker month. cover gasket. Yeah. I'll get one of them for that. I bet that'll be about six quid. Yeah, they're cheap. I they're can't cheap. believe it's like that are cheap. Like, I thought the MX-5 was cheap. No, no. And then you get a French car, and it's just people give you money for the parts. Like, yeah. Hey, oh, you need a rocker cover gasket. All right, well that'll be the rocker cover gasket, and we'll give you twenty quid. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's have a quick look around it. I mean, this is like probably bar this is bargain of the century in terms of like just fun for your money. Like it's just <laughs> it's just nuts. Saxo so VTS. So it's a Saxo VTS with 91,000 miles on the clocks. Uh, needs a rocker cover gasket by the looks of things, and a uh, the fuck is it called? A drive shaft. Um, it's got these fancy as fuck headlights in, but these yeah, we see them working earlier. They are cool. They don't work, so we need to get that one down here. The running lights to work somehow. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, mate, it's fucking alright. You know, it's a little bit track day next month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Mate, it's got full interior. It's got a door that shuts itself. You can't even get that on Rolls Royces, mate. Look at that. You can't get that on Rolls Royces. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's got wind deflectees. I bet they're 200 quid. They're really good for <laughs> cigarettes. Are they? Yeah. I better take up smoking. Exactly. Well, you've got a chicken pack, though. I've got a chicken pack, though, innit? Uh, it's got fucking electric windows. It's got sunroof. Has it got the windows that ping out at the back? There you go. Oh, that is so <laughs> oh I love it! Mate! Amazing. This car, it's got a leather back seat, boys. I've never seen someone so happy. Oh my it. god, that's so disgusting, though. Oh, oh, you're already finding bits. Let's hope there's no drugs in there. No, let's hope there is. <laughs> <laughs> sell it, I mean. Some. What we will do is we will have a proper look around it one day, like jack it up, have a proper look at how rusty it might be. But the car itself is literally just going to be used on track, like. I'm gonna trailer it to a track day, have some fun in it, and if I can get an MOT on it, I will, but I already insure like a million cars and I just don't want to insure anymore. So it's, <laughs> it's more about just having fun in it and yeah. cheap cheap thrills while the red one gets finished. Because we don't know how long the red one's gonna be. I'm not gonna rush the body shop because he is the best in the area. Yeah. It is just like that gets done when it's done, but now I've got something fun to something to bash around track. Being for around him for a while and I can yeah. challenge FYD, can't I? Well, this is it now. Be one bitch. This is going to be my next question. What I was going to ask is, you know, you get MX-5s, everyone buys them. Then you get BMWs, everyone buys them. Maybe Saxo is now the next way to go. <laughs> like, maybe we all just get 90s European hatchbacks and just go out and we track. We all just start beef with Jamie FID. We can all get loads of views and it'll be cool. Oh. Oh! So, we are back from Adam's. A quick look at the coilovers, but I do just want to say like thank you to Adam for letting me hang around a bit and stuff like that. Really cool, really appreciate it. So if there is a few of you that do not know who Adam is, I haven't subscribed to him, do check his channel out. Anyway, thank you if you've stuck this far, because now it's time to have a look at the coilovers. Yeah, maybe we gotta get a little higher. Maybe we gotta hit that fire. Smoking, never look back on So if I haven't said it before, these are HSD Monopro coilovers. Yeah, these are the sort of top range coilovers, similar to Driftwork CS2s, which is what they run on S chassis and stuff like that. I've always wanted these coilovers, they just always get good reviews, um, they've got crazy dampening adjustment and stuff like that, a lot different to eBay stuff, which hence the price. They have dampening adjustment, you adjust your height from the bottom, because you have spring preload, spring rates have gone for 9kg fronts and 7kg rears. Yeah, these should go on the car soon, hopefully. I was on and on about doing it myself with some help or taking it somewhere, just getting it done. Because doing them last time was a pain, but we'll see how we go. Obviously, you'll see it. I'll try and document as much as I can for the build, you guys know that. So you'll see these on the car soon. Can finally get some proper lows. All build up to Broke Boys at the Farm, really. So that is the next show, end of June. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just collecting the coilovers and meet up with Adam. Who help six to one of you need parts. Uh, they can pretty much get anything in. These aren't on the site, but I'm sure if you speak to them, they could probably get parts in for you. So just a little plug there. But that's all I've got left to say. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I will see you later.